Hello everyone, and welcome to today's guided meditation. Today's meditation is the sixth in a series of seven that I am releasing through each of the chakras with a drag and activation for each. Today's focus will be on the third eye chakra, and we have a black dragon today coming through for the energy activation. We have quite the ambitious activation ahead of us. The black dragon energy is one that you would call on for major cleansing. Energies that are harming you or holding you back, that you feel like you don't have the strength or capacity to vanquish on your own. The black dragon is bringing an energy and a strength that can overcome any and every obstacle. So this is the dragon that you would call upon for your greatest battles, essentially. And oftentimes those largest battles that we fight are often within our own head, within our own mind, psyche, heart, soul. So in today's black dragon activation, the intention is to remove any blockages, shadows, fears, limiting perceptions or limiting beliefs that are holding you back that feel too difficult to release on your own and if you have any personal intentions any obstacles in your life any cycles that you've been stuck in any burdens that you are ready and willing to release and need the assistance of a higher being to do so then please feel free to set those intentions and make them known once we connect to the black dragon energy later on the Black Dragon is a very strong energy, so it is my recommendation that you complete the other chakra meditations and activations that I've uploaded so far before you take this one on. But of course, trust your own intuition. If you know you're ready, then you know you're ready. And to give a bit more context on the third eye before we begin this meditation, it's well known for being associated with our psychic and spiritual abilities. But as the name implies, it is also connected to the energy of sight and clear sight. Not in the physical sense, but in the energetic sense. In Hindu and Buddhist philosophies, there is a concept known as Maya or the veil of Maya. And in one context, it is saying that the physical world that we see is only a deceptive illusion in the sense that there is so much beyond that that although we cannot perceive with our physical senses, still exists nonetheless, essentially referring to a deceptive illusion in perception. And in another context, the veil of Maya can be any deceptive illusion that we are currently perceiving and believing to be true. So for example, fears, shadows, blockages, limiting perceptions, limiting beliefs, they all fall under this idea of the veil of Maya, because we may believe them to be true, but that does not make them true. There is a higher truth beyond that if we are just willing to see it. But in the meantime, while you may still be holding on to those limiting beliefs and perceptions and fears, they will appear to be true. If your veil of Maya is a fear of change, then when you look through the veil at any change in your life, you will feel and experience fear. If your veil of Maya is a blockage around abundance, then when you peer through this veil at your life, you will see lack. If your veil of Maya has limiting beliefs around yourself, what you're capable of, what you're worthy of, then as you peer through this veil at your life around you, you will see lack of self-worth reflected back at you. And if you relied on this perception and this illusionary feedback from the physical world that seems to be confirming your worst fears and suspicions, then you would believe it to be true. You would believe that you were limited, that your fears were justified, that you should be scared, that you should play it small, when in reality it is a veil that you can remove. It is a perception that you can release. It may seem difficult at times, but you can rewrite the way that you perceive and see and receive and interact with the universe around you if you are only willing to believe in something beyond your current perception, to give another perspective the chance to prove itself true. And this is exactly the kind of cleansing that we will be doing in the activation ahead of us. 
I'm talking miraculous mindset shifts. If you are only open and willing to do so and go through this process. So I'm going to drop you in, help you relax, and with the assistance of the Black Dragon energy, we will begin to call forward your veils of Maya so that they can be released one by one. So if you are ready, please get into a comfortable position if you're not already. Close your eyes. And let's start by deepening and slowing our inhales through the nose and exhales through the mouth. Slowing down, dropping in. Every inhale bringing us into the present moment. Every exhale relaxing us into this present moment. Every inhale centers us, our attention, our energy. And with every exhale, we let go a little bit more. Beginning to let go of walls and resistances. Any fears or doubts that could be popping up that are scared that they're about to be cleansed away. That's okay. Trusting yourself that you are doing this practice because you are ready for it. And like roots of a tree, begin to imagine roots growing out of your body and into the earth beneath you. Down through layers of soil and rock. Growing deeper and deeper into the light core at the center of Mother Earth. Growing your roots in, anchoring them here. Continuing with your deep breathing. And repeating after me out loud or in your head, I release any and all energy that no longer serves my highest good. Out of my body, out of my field, down my roots now. Letting it go, letting it flow. Not holding on, not pushing it out. Just feeling the difference as it flows out of you, down your roots to be transmuted by Mother Earth. Feeling your energy lighten. We're not done releasing quite yet, but we're going to begin to imagine a sphere of golden white light surrounding you, surrounding your body and your aura, and a second one surrounding your home or whatever space you're in. Setting the intention now that these spheres of light protect you, cleanse your space, cleanse the energy of everything that you release in this session, and that any and all energy that you receive during this meditation from this activation will only be of your highest and best good. Only the energy of your highest and best good with your best intentions in mind are allowed to be received through these spheres of light.
And we are going to start the energy connection and activation now. If you are hesitant about directly connecting to the black dragon energy, then you can always request that it be sent through your highest self to be filtered and then received by you or whatever other spiritual being you might have that sort of trust in. Either which way, if you are open and ready to receive an energy activation from the Black Dragon for your highest and best good, please say yes. And while the connection is forged, bring to mind three veils of Maya within your own life, within your own mind. These could be fears, blockages, shadows, limiting perceptions, limiting beliefs. They could just be obstacles or difficulties in your life that you don't yet know the limiting belief or fear that is associated with it. So just bring to mind three energies in your life that you are ready to uncover the meaning behind, release and heal once and for all. Keeping your breathing deep, slow and calm. Keeping yourself grounded and regulated even as you bring these energies and emotions to the surface. You may be able to sense the energy of the black dragon in your presence. You may psychically see them, feel them, know that they are there. You might feel a sense of comfort or strength. Tuning into this energy around you. Leaning into what you are able to perceive here. Trusting your intuition and your psychic abilities. Alrighty, we are ready to begin the first part of the activation. We are going to return our energy to our body, our field, and our roots down into the earth. And we're going to bring our attention to any blockages, any resistance within our energy field. This could feel like fear or anxiety around whatever your veils of illusion may be. This could feel like soreness, tightness, discomfort. It may quite literally feel like a blockage. Tightness is often a sign of resistance because we are clenching the muscles or clenching the energy to try and hold on to something or hold out against something. So becoming aware of these energies, you have the presence of the black dragon, you lean on for strength, and we are calling in your spirit guides, your spirit team, beloved ancestors, angels, archangels, divine God source energy. We are calling in your entire spiritual team now to offer you their full assistance with this process.
then collectively you, your spirit team, the black dragon energy, you will all begin to dissolve the energy of these blockages and resistances within your body and wash them away down your roots. You can visualize them being burned away in a holy flame, washed away by holy water, blown away by a holy wind. Whatever method works for you, if you wanna use your hands and pull these energies out of you to release them. This aspect of shadow work and healing can feel intense. It can feel uncomfortable. So please keep breathing deeply and know that any undesired sensations will pass. We have to go through the storm in order to get out of it in the case of shadow work. And you can let things feel intense when you're dissolving or washing something away. But in between, allow yourself to experience moments of peace. As you wash away that one blockage, take a moment to relish in the energetic difference, even if briefly, before you move on to the next. Releasing any final energies. And now calling the light of Mother Earth up your roots and into your body. Washing in through your legs, your feet, your hips, your stomach chest, back, shoulders, down each arm, through the hands and down through the tip of each finger, up through your neck and your head. And this light is pouring in from your base and out at the top of your head. And this channel, this flow of light will continue throughout this activation so that it can pick up any excess that is ready to be released, to transmute it and to carry it out of you, out of your body, out of your field, back to the earth to be released and transmuted. And feeling this current of light Picking up any of the scraps from the energy release that we just did, those blockages and resistances, just clearing the way so that we can access those veils of Maya. I 
and we begin by calling to our mind the first veil of Maya that we want to work with today. Calling on your own inner strength, the strength of your spirit team, the strength of the black dragon energy, and begin to see how this energy plays out in your life. When you look out at your life, at the world, at other people, how is this veil of Maya reflected back at you? What are the experiences you have? And what are the emotions that those experiences create? And now bringing the focus into the mind. Where does that veil of Maya reside within your brain, within your psyche? Can you name it? Can you trace it back to other memories or to its origin? This vibrant light is pouring through you and I want you to locate the shadow in your mind that is this veil of Maya. And as if you had shrunken down and were physically standing in your own brain, call again on the courage of yourself, your spirit team, the black dragon, call upon their protection. Enter into the shadow of this veil of Maya to allow it to reveal its truth to you. Do not be afraid for you are physically safe. Any fear, any fear of your safety is an illusion within this space. Entering when you are ready and allow your own intuition to guide you to what you are ready to know about this veil, about this shadow, the stories that it has told you, the experiences in your life that it has created, and most importantly, why it's there, what it was trying to prevent, to protect you from, to recover from an incident in your past, allow it to speak its truth to you and do not be afraid of yourself.
cueing you back in. Take what you have learned and step back out of this shadow with a new perspective gained on why it was there, the patterns that it was creating, and all of the energy that you are ready to release. Calling in the energy of the black dragon, the assistance of the black dragon energy, and ask the black dragon to remove this shadow from your mind, from your psyche, with love, with understanding, with compassion, If it is difficult to release, then use the Ho'oponopono prayer. I'm sorry. I forgive you. I love you and thank you. These shadows are often defense mechanisms that we create to protect ourselves. Oftentimes they are not trying to hurt us. So honoring that energy, we're not banishing it to the far corners of the universe, we're releasing it. We're allowing these energies to be transmuted and alchemized, released so they can live another life, serve another purpose. An energy that we are no longer carrying from here forth. and witnessing as the black dragon removes this shadow from your mind, removes this veil of Maya from your perception, from your eyes, seeing as the light now pours through this part of your mind, the shadow gone, And with this veil of Maya gone, what will you choose to replace it? Set the intention and embed it into this space in your mind that you have created space in now. Something positive, something supportive, something that does not limit you in any which way. Even the sky is not a limit. Feeling the energy of this new belief system settling in with the support of your spiritual team to help it settle in, to raise your vibration to match it. And now following this trail of this new perception back out through your eyes and see it reflected in your life around you. And it's not always your physical reality that immediately changes, but it is your perception of your physical reality that changes first. And that is what allows your physical reality to then shift. If you can see the silver lining, if you can see the positive, if you can come from a place of love, then your reality will shift. But you have to be willing to see it and believe in it first. seeing it physically reflected around you, maybe even revisiting some of the visions that you had from the negative veil of Maya, and now projecting this new belief system upon it, seeing it in a new light if you can. releasing that visual 
because we've got two more to go. Calling into your mind your second intention, your second veil of Maya that you are ready to release. Calling into your mind what it is. What it feels like. how it manifests in your physical reality, what experiences, what cycles, what habits and patterns is it connected with? And what emotions are connected with those experiences, with those beliefs? Once again, calling upon your strength, the strength of your spirit team, the black dragon, you're not alone as you face these dark corners of yourself. You are never alone. When you are never taking on more than you can handle. These kinds of initiations are always divinely guided. Now calling your attention from the external experience of this veil of Maya into your mind to begin to perceive the internal experience of this veil. Where within your mind and psyche is it located? How does it feel? Can you name it? And once again, you are standing in front of this shadow within your mind. This divine light is flowing through you, making this shadow very easy to perceive calling upon the assistance, the courage, the protection of yourself, your highest self, your spirit team, the black dragon, with this confidence and courage called upon, enter the shadow and allow its truth to be revealed to you, why it's here, what its intention is, all of the experiences connected with it. Alrighty, I'm cueing you back in. Taking what you've learned and now stepping back out of the shadow.
taking all that you've learned into account, integrating it, finding acceptance and understanding for it, using the Ho'oponopono prayer to prepare to release this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what you went through. I forgive you. I forgive you for trying to protect me the best way you knew how. I love you. I thank you. I honor you. And now calling upon the black dragon energy to remove this shadow and this energy from your mind, from your psyche, however that may appear to you. Allowing this energy to be transmuted, alchemized and released, giving it another chance at a more positive life somewhere else and no longer choosing to carry this energy with you moving forward. Allowing the black dragon to remove it and so it is and so it is and so it is. Letting it go and seeing this divine light now flowing through this part of your mind that was once the shadow bringing in a positive perception, a positive belief to replace that veil of Maya in this space that you've created. A belief that is based on love, abundance, infinite possibility and opportunity a belief that is based on your own divinity. A belief that a divine being would deserve to carry. And now taking the perspective externally again and seeing this new belief this new mindset projected onto your physical reality what would it look like what experiences would it create what feelings would it create And reminding yourself that before the physical changes, you have to be willing to believe this and see it, regardless of what's physically reflected back at you. So revisiting the experiences in your life that were associated with this veil of Maya that you just released, bring this new belief, this new perspective to those experiences seeing them in a new light, from a higher perspective, from a place of love. Finding comfort, finding acceptance. And now releasing that and calling upon our third and final veil of Maya for today's meditation. Seeing how that veil of Maya is reflected in our external life. The experiences we have, the cycles we feel stuck in, habits and patterns that don't serve our highest good anymore, that have long since expired.
and now bringing the attention inwards and locating that veil of Maya within your own mind. The thoughts and the feelings that are associated with those external experiences, the internal experiences that are linked to those external ones. what your self-talk sounds like around this area. The divine light is still flowing through you and it helps you to find this third shadow within your mind today. Sensing the energy around it and now calling upon the strength, the courage, the protection of yourself, your highest self, your spirit team, and the black dragon. And entering this shadow when you are ready, knowing that you are completely safe and protected as you do so, and allowing this veil of Maya, this shadow, to reveal its truth to you why it's here, what it was trying to prevent. Allow yourself to see its total truth now. Ready, I'm cueing you back in, taking what you've learned, integrating it, and stepping back out of this shadow, back into your mind. Integrating what you've learned, seeing the truth behind this veil and using the Ho'oponopono prayer to get ready to release it once and for all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm sorry you believed this for so long. I forgive you. I forgive you for holding on to it. I forgive me for holding on to it. I love you. I thank you, I honor you, and I release you. Calling upon the black dragon energy one final time, 
to remove this shadow, this veil of Maya from your mind, from your energy, however that looks like for you. Letting it go, allowing it to be released, allowing this to be true, allowing this to be enough. And seeing as the shadow is lifted and this divine light is now flowing through this part of your mind where the shadow once was is now filled with light and choose a positive belief or mindset to take its place here. Something supportive and uplifting that will make your life better each and every day. And now turning your attention back to the external, seeing this new belief and mindset reflected in your physical reality. How does it look? How is life different with it? What experiences are you having? What feelings are you having? remembering that you have to see it and believe it first for your physical reality to change. So bringing this mindset, this new energy, and turning your attention back to the more negative experiences through the original veil of Maya and see them through a new, higher perspective from a place of positivity and love See them in a new way that sets you free, that empowers you, that allows you to feel comfort and acceptance. And so it is. We are disconnecting from this energy session. So be it and so it is. Settling in, deepening your inhales and your exhales, integrating this energy, integrating this new light, this new freeness, this perception shift, Your perception is what creates your reality. And now that you have done this work to shift your perception, you have laid the foundation for miraculous and positive reality shifts. Thank yourself. Thank yourself for doing this work, for taking these steps, for making a change and making a difference. All for the best. And so it is. Thank you so much for meditating with me today. I am wishing you all the love, health, happiness in the world. Namaste.